things that go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, jerk. Shh, Sam B. Okay. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. So, got these two guys now asking me to nod my head, and uh, apparently that's out of your control. You don't get to do much. And truth be told, I, I'm a huge black dude. I could probably just gang fist everybody in this room without any threat. If you thought about it, I mean, look at this dude. Guy's wearing shorts for Christ's sake, and he's also got really bad shaders on his legs. Look at them legs. What are you doing, son? You should be ashamed of yourself. This is. Is that a Quinton? I couldn't read. Dominic. Hello, Dominic. Nice face, Dominic. Oh, something to, something to steal. There's a fact. Can't remember what they'd do again. Where's Steve Blum gone? I know I've got to... What is it? Oh, somebody's outside, aren't they? I can't pick that paddle up. Are you serious? Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. I don't owe him shit, lady. Now suck my dick. Apparently we'll have to leave that for another episode. Am I nuts? No, but I'm lip-synced a lot better than you. Are you not going to help him? Do you at least have a weapon? Cause I do. Do you know the size of my dick? Okay. There's my thing thing. Alright, but this is fucking crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of cursing in this game, I completely forgot about that. I remember when I first got here, when I first played the game, I died on this section. Because I couldn't figure out what to do on this quick time event. The one you get grabbed, should I say. Because you've got to press two buttons and it's it's not the most obvious, but... Oh, I can't, I can't move! I feel so slow! Get a... Whoa, kick! Why'd you... Oh, left bumper. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm clipping! Get away, bitch. Oh, this game feels sluggish as shit, man. I hate Call of Duty. It reminds me what good games feel like. Take it, bitch! So, let's keep this guy down. The The main thing with this game is is obviously breaking people's arms, because it shit's fun. Swing! Oh, that's cool. I like I... <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> and then I said to Oprah that I didn't actually own that cigarette. Um, this guy's in trouble. Job kick! Peeps! Walker level one. Always try and check your back as well. I know it sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised. Some people just... Oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> Take it! They're coming again. Where? Where? Steve Blum, you can't do this to me. I know you were in Cowboy Bebop, but let's be right. That was a long time ago. So this is your first real quest giver, I do believe. Yeah, he's tattooed to shit because he's like Haitian or something. And um, If he's so good at throwing knives, how the hell did he get into such a shit sandwich that we just found him in? Somebody please explain that, I would like to know. But this is Act 1. I'm probably going to split the videos up into, well, obviously into Act. That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, they'll, they'll probably be longer than the average video as well, hopefully. All depends on my persuasion. Right now, though, I'm feeling kind of tired, so I'm not going to be playing a lot for this session. Just gonna be doing my thing, but this is Cinemoy, or Cinemoy, as I say, because my accent works really well that way. And apparently, Quivering Wreck is nearby. I press left on the D pad to join him. Sorry, Quivering, um, you're a wreck. So, we need to move everything to the main, to the main lifeguard station. I'm trying to be Australian, but it turns out I'm actually American, so my accent is not that good. I can't do this without you. Why not just put him in a fucking car cart and be done with it? Give him a koala. Come on, man. That's about as Australian as he sounds. So. Are you gonna do the, right, you gonna thing? Do the right thing? So bring the security key card to the lifeguard tower from bungalow number 11. Because the other 10 bungalows don't have key cards. And I'll get a nailed mod. And they're too cool to put the E, so it's just the apostrophe. So let's take that shit. I'm E. Good. First off, we need an access card. Oh, this accent is so bad. Just quit it, Blum. Just quit it, man. Promotion. I forgot to take it with. It's in bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. Yep, yeah. Come on, get on, wait, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. I'm growing old listening to you. What if I can slap this bitch's ass? <laughs> oh, yeah, sexy. Shake it out, Well, look at size at watch, man. Why don't you just punch him with his watch? So, I think anybody that's green can potentially give you a quest, but... Uh, I'm going to ruin everybody's fun. I'm not doing any side quests because, like, this game is cool and it's fun and all, but it's long as shit. And I've just got into something I didn't want. Fuck you, dude. Get off me, OJ. Come on, man. We all know you're guilty. 
That fan looks pretty cool. Die fan! Oh, maybe not. So, my history with this game is I've beat it twice. It's been a while since I've played it, as I mentioned. Kick the ball! There we go. Like a pro. Can't wait to unlock the stomp. The stomp is what makes this game super fun. And you get a lot of experience for doing it. Should have turned the notifications off, but I'm lazy. It just can't be helped sometimes. Ooh, another paddle. That'll do me just fine. Keep myself stocked up on shit. And uh, my biggest asset on this game is the sound, but because I have these tritons over the dam, over my ears, I'm not going to be able to hear shit, so I'm probably not going to get the, the jump on many dudes. Whoa. Uh, cock flowers. Exactly what you want when you're playing a, an 18 rated game. Even the flowers have penises. We're just being Art Nouveau. Oh, broomstick. I'll have you. What's going off up here? Oh, got to search the bin, because the bin's filled with gears, apparently. Max and his buddies are sat in bins these days. More penis lights. Let's have a look. That would be a zombie. Oh, press wrong button. Get back, you beast! It's Brecky's leg. Come on, Brecky's leg. There we go, get some extra XP. Brecky's arm. Oh, he died. It's unfortunate. And more notifications. Jesus Christ. Shit's gonna get changed. But I remember this swimming pool area. Everybody gets up. You've got to be careful for that. People get up all the time. Come on, dude. Play the game. Let me break your arm. Get me some extra XP. This dude's having a field day. This is where you walk into the... Oh, there's a bunch of them. Freedom! You may take Mel Gibson's light as being... Oh, it broke. That sucks. Mel Gibson may not no longer be an actor, but he'll get really racist in his old age. I forgot how much this game sucks when you start off, because you've not got any of the... Is he getting up? I just clipped. Ah, you are getting up, aren't you? Kick him! Kick him in the face! Jesus Christ, someone's gonna... I knew you'd be coming, bitch. Don't think I'd end. <laughs> I completely failed. Oh, oh, slow-mo. Oh, I'm completely knackered as well, apparently. I should really spend some skill points, but I'm gonna save that for a little bit. Can't be asked with none of that shit. So the strategy for beating the thugs... Oh shit! <clears throat> That's the one I couldn't do before, but I, I figured that shit out now, because I'm like a pro. I'll break his arm. Whoa! Shit! Getting gang raped! Get back! Thou shall not eat my face! So, you're still alive, chum, with your broken arm. <laughs> Denied! Oh shit! Aha! Cannot follow me into the water of despair. Apparently you can. <laughs> He's drowning. Kick him when he's drowning. But you've got to be super careful on this game to, to not get too carried away because that little blue bar there is your stamina. And I'm used to having a lot more stamina than this black dude has because I played as the Chinese lady with the sharp knives. And she's actually pretty cool, if I'm honest. She's uh, She kicks ass. I'll give her that much. Let's have a look. See what we're doing. So I should be following the waypoint, but I like coming to, to this guy. Oh, there's a diving knife, but I specialize in blunt objects, so I should not really be using that shit. Is it through here? It is through here. Is that a thug? Oh, no, it's just a walker. Just the walking dead. So, speaking of the walking dead, the most recent episode's just aired. I haven't seen it yet. The one I saw previously was the one where the, the Asian dude was hooking up with the, you know, the, the de deliverance girl who lives on the, the little farm, and they were, you know, getting it on when they went out to get some supplies. Stop talking, game! I'm trying to talk! How dare you! And, um, they were getting it on, you know, getting busy with fizzy, as I like to say, and they arranged to, to meet up and have sex again, because her father told her not to, and obviously, if you tell a young girl not to do something, she wants to do it, because, you know, hoes be crazy like that, bitches be crazy, we all know this. And... He arranged to meet her in the barn, but she only got the letter because he gave her a little leaflet. Oh, fella! Ah! Get out, broke! Kick him! Kick him in the face! Roar! Roar, don't kill me! And rob his corpse. Always fun. But he arranged to meet her in the barn, she found out, and she was suddenly totally scared. So you knew immediately that there was something wrong with this barn. 
And my thought was that these people were really going to turn out to be cannibals and they were keeping people in there and eating them, something crazy like that. So I thought the only reason that they'd said that, you know, Shane, the main character, and everybody could stay was because they were going to fucking cook them. I thought it was going to do a massive, you know, you know, just big old dirty twist. Uh, it didn't, though, luckily enough. Turns out that this family, with well, the looks of it anyhow, do not get rid of their dead. So when their family members turned into the undead and turned into, you know, bad dudes, they did not kill them and get rid of the bodies. And uh, the people we've been following throughout season one, or the people that we're familiar with, they don't take too kindly to, you know, zombies walking around in close proximity. So shit's going to kick off. There's going to be a boiling point. There's going to be a flashpoint. And I do believe that season two is going to start picking up because I don't know about your guys, but when the little girl went missing, they spent like three fucking episodes trying to find her. And I didn't even like her in the first place. So I'd have just shot her in the face and got rid of the bitch because she was just a nuisance. I don't like her mum either. I'd have shot her too. I'd have probably, you know, chopped them up and cooked them and used them as like little doggy bags. But that's just me. And obviously the... The writing needs some unnecessary tension. It needs some child appeal. It needs some innocence that could be tainted and some vulnerabilities. And uh, I do realise why they're using it as a storytelling mechanic, but personally, like pisses me off. So this guy's talking. I can't hear what he's saying, unfortunately, because I'm, you know, yabbering. I feel so fat right now. Why the hell am I moving so slow? What if I can kill myself with fall damage? Fall damage! Oh, maybe not. Hey, dude, you forgot your skin, bruh. You forgot your skin. Where am I going? Over here. Over here. Over here. So, usually when you run past these beaches, somebody will start getting up. He did not. <laughs> these ones will never get up. These ones are Burger Town. It's the ones that actually look like... Whoa. Is that... Oh, yeah, he's... he's uh... Oh, shit. Dude! Jumping smash! Hang on, hang on. I heard something. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. Stop disrespecting me, bruh. I respect you, bruh. I should really drink some shit, shouldn't I? I'm not even rolling this. I'm half dead. Never good. See that double can drinkage in the space of one can? Just clearly gifted. Can't even walk up this metal load. Look how fat I feel. Am I encumbered or something? This is pissing me off. No, you don't get encumbered on this game. This is not Fallout. My guy's just fat. Don't know how it is, you're immune to this. But my accent fucking sucks. Look how squished his head looks. <laughs> He's following me with his eyes. But, there we go. Alright. Oh, I'm Steve Blum. In pretty much every video game going, so I've got to make a living, you know. I've got to put food on the table. There's my reward, a nice nailed mod, and there is the first mission down. Was it called Exodus, or is Exodus coming up? I cannot tell.